Hi, my friends. I love you all. I hope that you're doing well. If you're not doing well, that's okay too. Just remember that it's temporary. I tell myself that all the time. So I'm super, super excited. I wanted to talk about my new spray cloud today. So as you know, I'm obsessed with smells. I've always been obsessed with smells and perfumes and essential oils and whatever. And I decided to study it. So I studied flower vibrations and essential oils to be uh, certified in aromatherapy. I love flowers. I love, I love flowers. If you know me, I love flowers. I am obsessed. I kinda wanna show you the flowers I have right now. One second. I have blue hydrangeas right now. <laughs> you know, I wait for, okay, if you, okay. So everyone watching, if you're my friend, if you want to get me a gift, buy me flowers. There's nothing that hits my heart more than when someone buys me flowers, okay? And <laughs> I was waiting for someone to buy me flowers and no one did, so I bought myself flowers. And look how much it matches. It's like purple and blue. I kind of want to put it back here, right? Now, I have a lot of interests. You know, I love crystals. I love meditations, the chakras, energy healing. I can talk to angels. I'm a medium, I'm a psychic. I have a lot of interests, okay? And this is why I create my sprays. So my sprays are kind of like a mix of everything. They're a mix of oils, flowers, crystals, and archangel blessings. These are auric sprays. So I have a bunch, right? Cool is really popular. My spray cool. So these are sprays that are for your aura. That's why it's called an auric spray. Now we all have an aura. We all have an energy. We are made of energy. We are 99% energy. 1% matter, let that sink in. We are 99% energy, it's true, and 1% matter. And our energy is not just inside the body, it radiates outside of us too. Like love, some, like your loved one could be beside you and you could feel their energy, you could feel their love, okay? So kind of like the chakras here. So we have an aura. And sometimes when we're sick or we're unhealthy or when we're feeling negative or aura weakens, our energy is lower, right? I forget what it is. I think a regular, like a healthy human vibrates at 67 megahertz, I think. I could get the number wrong. But when we're healthy, we might vibrate at 69. When we're unhealthy, we might <laughs> we might vibrate at 66. I laughed at 69, I can't believe I... Anyways, oils, crystals, whatever, have a frequency and they vibrate, right? Okay, actually, before I continue, I think I'm just gonna sage myself and everyone watching. So if you're watching, you know, allow energy healing to take place, even though you could be watching this in the future. Well, obviously you're watching in the future. No one's watching it right now at the same time as I'm recording it. But we all have guardian angels. We all have spirit guides and whatever. So just as I sage myself and sage you, just allow energy healing to take place. Because you have a spirit team that is with you right now. Right here, right now, you have guardian angels and past loved ones, etc. I'll do you first. Close your eyes and just allow your spirit team that's with you in this moment to just kind of lay some white light and some energy healing on you. Just call in your spirit team, your archangels, pets that have crossed over, guardian angels, past loved ones, archangels spirit guides, ancestors, all of the above. My gosh, I love sage. Whew. And thank you to the native land it comes from. Okay, so back to my spray. So this is my new Oryx spray. It's called Cloud. I designed it all myself. I'm obsessed with the bottle. I think it's so cute. I like the purple, the lilac, lavender color, the white. There's something cloudish about it and the turquoise kind of like my whole being um and this is the back so that's archangel haniel who um is the archangel that i worked with to make this and who blessed every single bottle okay so it's also um here i'll get my tester it has a tester sticker it has a silver cap as well right so um Archangels are real, right? And archangels are like celestial beings or energies that kind of help humankind, that help us. Amazing. Archangel Haniel is a feminine energy. She comes in purple and turquoise, a light purple and turquoise, so like lavender and turquoise, right? So she's amazing. It's feminine. She connects a lot to intuition and comfort. You know, whenever I call on her or whenever she comes up in a client with a person, 
it's usually because this person is developing their intuition, which is the third eye up there. And this is the like the chakra of sight and psychic abilities and intuitively seeing things and manifestation, everything that's non-physical, a lot comes with the third eye chakra. But in a happy way, like she's very, she's like known as like the joy of God or the joy of the universe because there's something joyous about it too. It's not just all creepy and mysterious and overwhelming. There's like a joyous energy with Archangel Haniel. And very comforting and have a strong sense of faith that everything's going to be okay. Everything's all right. So it's intuitive. It's comforting. It's joyous. It's relaxing. It's feminine. It's supportive and grand as well. Like she's an archangel. I say she, but she doesn't have a gender, but it's feminine-ish. She has a yin energy. And there's something very grand and beautiful and poised and elegant about her, about this archangel. So I really wanted to create a lavender spray for a while. Lavender is super popular. We all love lavender. Well, most people do. I have some too. Oh, this is a big jug of dried lavender. <coughs> And it smells so good. Whew. And plants and oils and essential oils have a vibration, have an essence. That's why they're called essential oils, because you have the essence from these plants. And they all have their own benefits, right? I'm just going to hug this lavender. It feels good. And lavender, you know, once inhaled, once it enters the bloodstream, it calms the nervous system. Scientifically, it goes into the bloodstream lavender. It really calms the nervous system and it literally calms us. We feel more relaxed, smell lavender, be one with lavender, meditate with lavender. I love lavender so much. It's so beautiful. It really calms us. So we're not feeling so anxious or whatever. So I really wanted to create a lavender spray, right? Heavenly influenced by lavender. Um, it smells so good, oh my God. Before I talk about it more, let me show you how it works. So it's an auric spray, but also you can also use it as a pillow spray because it helps you relax and feel calm. You just spray in your auric field and you breathe it in. It feels so good. And as you breathe it in, as your aura, your energy merges with it, it kind of gets to work, right? These magical ingredients get to work and they kind of change your frequency. They change your aura. I'm obsessed. So the second ingredient, well, the main ingredient is lavender. No, sorry, I already said that, is vanilla. I am a vanilla person. Some people aren't. I'm a strong vanilla person. I love insanely sweet smells, flowers, vanilla, jasmine, whatever. And vanilla is super sweet. It's super dreamy. It's super comforting. And it kind of is blissful, you know? It kind of brings you into a blissful state. So there's something very romantic and calming about vanilla. So lavender vanilla together smell great as well. And then we have grapefruit. Grapefruit is pink and it's, you know, bright and it's a citrus, which kind of helps with the smell as well. It smells really good, but the energy is really good too. But grapefruit is very like happy. It's super sweet and sugary, but yeah, and joyous and bright, you know? So it's not just sleepy, sleepy. There's a joyous to it, which um, I feel reflects Archangel Haniel well of being very like calming and intuitive, but also joyous. Next, we have ylang ylang, which is a flower that's also like a sedative. It's also an aphrodisiac. Ylang ylang is so hypnotic. Like, I encourage you to get this or just smell ylang ylang by itself. It's very hypnotic is the, the adjective I'll use. It's so calming. It brings you into like a trance and it's so relaxing and it smells so good. It pairs really well with grapefruits. There's also benzoin, which is a tree sap, um, usually from a tree in India. It's very sticky, it's very sweet. It kind of smells like vanilla, but it has like an earthly grounding kind of energy to it. It smells so good, it kind of smells like marshmallow. Um, so that's in here as well. And the spray smells like a sweet lavender, right? I find it kind of smells like baby powder and I'm obsessed with that. I love powdery smells, I love the smell of baby powder. So I was like a powdery vanilla smell. Most people say it smells like marshmallows. I also feel like it smells like marshmallows, but not like artificial, like everything's all natural. It's made with, you know, real lavender, real vanilla, you know, all real things. So it's not artificial or fake, it's real plants, right? But it's also kind of like juicy because the grapefruit, it smells so good, it smells so good. But yeah, I would describe it as like lavender, baby powder, marshmallow with a bit of juiciness and just a smidge, just a little, smidgy smidge of earthiness because the benzoin, but like, I don't even want to say it's earthy at all. It's a very sweet smell. It's very like, 
decadent, you know, gour gourmet, is that the word? Like um, gourmand, you know, like caramel, you know, sugar. It's that kind of smell. And that's kind of like my favorite smell. Oh my God, it's so good. It just calms you. It helps you feel comforted and cozy. Again, great for a pillow when you go to sleep or just for your aura or just throughout the day. I use this even when I just feel like a bit sad or a bit anxious. I just feel nice and comforted with this spray. So those are the oils. It's also made with a bunch of crystals, um, which I have with me. So it's made with rose quartz. Now rose, so these are made with crystal essences. Crystal essences is basically when you take the energy of a crystal, um, you could like grab the essences of the crystal and then you bottle it up. So it's made with, you do it with water and brandy, which is preservative and it's done with sunlight or moonlight, but I use sunlight. Um, and yes, yeah, this huge spiritual potion making thing that I'm certified in that I took a course in. Um, so it's made with rose quartz. Rose quartz is probably my favorite crystal. It's very popular, rose quartz. A lot of people know what it is, but I feel like it's popular with reason. It has one of the most gentle, compassionate, self-loving energies. I love it so much. So it's great before bed, you know, if ever, you know, you might feel a bit sad or a bit lonely, or you're just working on a bit of healing, rose quartz is so amazing. So you don't need the crystal, you can just use the spray. It's in here, the energy is in here. Um, and that's another thing too, is that some people think it's just a scent, it's just a smell. It's so much more than that, truly, truly, truly. It's magic in a bottle, okay? So you really have to like feel it, like, you know, connect your heart and spray it and, and like feel the energy and see how it makes you shift. It's amazing, it's amazing, I'm a genius. So the another um, crystal is, ooh, I don't even know what it's called, Carroites. Oh, I hope that's how you say it. It's a purple crystal that looks like amethyst, but it's not. This does so much for anxiety and nervousness. What's going on with my hair here? I use this crystal a lot on myself with anxiety and calming the nervous system. I remember I got Reiki done and she's like, you need to get this crystal. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and she was right, it's amazing. Car right, I think it's called. It's a beautiful purple and it's just so relaxing, all right? It's also very like spiritual in a way, but I would say it's actually very grounding, although it's purple, because purple usually connects up here, right? It's the crown and the third eye chakra. But there's something very safe about it. And like, I want to like wide, I don't know how to explain it. It's very like, it's not like an intimate crystal. There's something very like wide about the energy of it. But I needed to put this in here for like a relaxing, calming auric spray. I was like, it needs car right. And it's purple, which kind of matches the vibe because lavender is purple and everything. The Archangel Haniel is purple. So next is turquoise. So I want you to know that I can channel Archangels and Archangel Haniel is here right now with me. I don't know if you could feel the energy through the screen, but like she talks about how she just really wants people to feel comforted. The word comforted, it's called a comforting auric spray. I got from her when I meditated with her and she says to let people know that they're cared for and that they're loved and that they're comforted and that whenever you need her, she will come. Whenever you want Archangel Haniel to be at your service, she'll come. Whenever you spray this, she'll be there, okay? She's very motherly and she kind of likes to hold people. And she's weird. She's always watching over us. That's how I feel. Like there's something with sight about her, like clairvoyancy and like just watching and observing and poise and elegance and sophistication. It's, it all connects to her. But also joy. She keeps saying, but I'm always smiling. There's something very joyous about her vibe and the cloud spray. Love her. So the next crystal was um, whispered to me from Archangel Haniel and it's turquoise. And I didn't even think of turquoise until, you know, she told me this is tumbled and this is raw. Turquoise, there's something Egyptian about it. Um, it's one of my favorite colors, but it hasn't been one of my favorite stones. It's not a stone I work with, although I work with the color often. And she talks this about, um, it does connect to the throat chakra about honesty and truth and being like a clear vessel for information to come through. There is something connected about channeling here and psychic abilities with turquoise. 
and speaking your truth and being honest and comfortable with yourself. Um, I love it. So there's turquoise in here as well. And lastly, <laughs> amethyst, which is another popular, beautiful stone. Now, this is the stone of uh, detox. You know, when I work with clients or sometimes myself <laughs> to help detox, this is like it sobers you if you're drunk. So amethyst draws out toxicities if you're feeling drunk or not sober. It does a lot. It also connects to dreams and it helps with nightmares. So there's also something very comforting, but also magical and intuitive. So, you know, I absolutely love these crystals. They're all pretty together. It's purple, it's pink, it's turquoise, right? And the plants uh, that, I, that are in here, lavender is purple, vanilla, it's white. You know, um, grapefruit is pink. It has a, lots of beautiful colors, right, in this spray. Some people don't like, I make a lot of sprays and what I realized is that we're all different. Like the other day when I was selling them, one girl comes in and she was like, oh my God, I love the flaunt spray. But she's like, oh my God, this smells bad. Shield smells bad. These are other sprays that I make. And I was like, Ugh, maybe Shield's not a good spray. Like maybe it sucks, I don't know. But that same day someone came in and she was like, oh my God, this is the best spray I've ever smelt. And she didn't like this one. So we're all different, you know? So it's possible you might not like this if you don't like lavender or if you don't like marshmallow sweet smells, but I adore it. This is probably my favorite smell. It's one of my favorite energies that I've created in my Orc spray line. I think it smells so sweet, so floral, so delicious. I'm obsessed. The bottle, it's a hundred milliliters. So there's a lot in here. A hundred is a lot and it's a UV light protected bottle. So the oils are safe for like ever. If you want one, let me know. I love to sell you one. You can buy it in Sudbury um, at True North Main, Talk of Town Fashions. You can order it online, www.tristansky.com. Just message me, you know, I can bring it to you if you live close to me or I can ship it to you. There's so many options, but I'm obsessed and I hope all the other people love it as well. It's like my creation that I love to, to share out. And oh yeah, this one I feel like is the most Tristan. Like out of all my sprays, this one's very Tristan. So I absolutely love it. Also comes like a little pamphlet too that kind of talks about it. Here I am as a fairy, <laughs> holding a little piece of lavender. Just kind of, it kind of goes. Well, I kind of want to spray myself one last time. So I breathe out, I close my eyes, really connect to my heart. I spray three to four times in my auric field and you breathe it in. I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank you so much, my friends. I love you all so much. Please take the greatest of care. If you use cloud, you buy cloud, take pictures of it, tag me, do all those things. I want to see it and then I can repost it. Okay, bye my friends.